All right, so we're heading down to um, called the train wreck. It's just before Whistler, um, just past the border of Whistler, actually. And it's a old train that got derailed back in the 70s or 80s, I believe. And uh, CN, which is our uh, Canadian National uh, Railway, decided that the best idea would be just to hide all the train cars in the bushes. Um, I don't agree with it, but it makes for a pretty cool site. There's lots of graffiti and some cool art in there. So we're going to take the dog and we're taking the jeep today down to uh, the parking spot. It's a little hike into there um, along the track. So are we, um, there's kind of two ways you can go down the, the trail or you can go along the track. So we might take the tracks this time um, or the trail, depends on the, the parking situation. But yeah, we will catch you when we get closer to the train wreck. Alright, we made it down the train wreck here, just past the train um, back to the wreck and we're down by the waterfall kind of cliff area which I'll show you now. Alright, so we're on our way back from the train wreck there. We are there for about an hour doing some shots of the trains and the waterfalls. Um, sorry about the shaky footage. I don't have my gimbal. It broke, as well as the gimbal and the drone, so we have no drone footage in this one either. But we should be heading back to the Jeep. Should be back in about 10 minutes, and then we'll get some footage of us heading home. Alright, we made it back to the cars here. We're gonna hop in the Jeep and head home. We're both pretty tired. That was a lot longer than I thought it would be. And it's pretty hot out right now. We got beautiful blue skies. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. <laughs>